Thanks very much, Steve. We know the playoffs are all about adjustments. When you factor in Kyrie Irving's injury as well, what do you expect Cleveland will try to do differently in game two? Well, I'm not sure they'll try to do a whole lot differently. Um, you know, it was a, an overtime game. They did a lot of good things the other night, and um, we anticipate, um, you know, a, a, some slight changes with Della Vadova out there just because he's a different player from Kyrie. But, um, you know, at this point, you, you are who you are, and the adjustments you make are – are kind of subtle, I think. What did you spend the last couple of days trying to clean up in the film room and on the floor in practice? Well, I thought, um, you know, we competed hard. Our uh, our execution wasn't great. Um, we were shooting some quick shots early um, that weren't necessarily open. Um, we had uh, a couple of defensive breakdowns in there. Usual stuff. You watch tape, um, you show the players, you try to clean up stuff, and you hope that it works. <laughs> As you, your team has now gotten its, all its depth back, especially with Spates being back in the lineup, is that is that something that, as the series goes on, can have a cumulative and wearing effect, do you think, whether it's on LeBron or anybody else on their spot? It's hard to tell. I mean, the only thing that we focus on is is what it does for our team. And um, we, we have used our depth all year, um, guys like Barbosa and and uh, and most spates and Azili, you know, sometimes they play, sometimes they don't, but they're always ready. And uh, we do believe in playing a lot of them and, and trying to keep the pressure on the opponent. And each game is a little different. So you just sort of get a feel for it and uh, and go from there. Well, coach, you guys had a two day break between game one and now. How did that a little bit of extra time help the players mentally process Kyrie's injury and then move on to focus on game two? Well, I think it did help us. It gave us a chance to to relax, gave, a ch gave us a chance to regroup, uh, gave us some rest, and uh, gave us a chance to practice yesterday with, uh, with uh, the idea in mind of how we we're going to have to go about this game given the change situation. We expect, of course, to see a lot more of Matthew Della Vadova. If you're down an all-star, why is he a good person to have step in? Well, he's proven that he can guard an all-star, <laughs> and he's proven that he can play with all-stars. And he's definitely proven that he's up to any any task that we give him. And he, you know, he's done a good job for us all year as a rotation player, and he's done an excellent job filling in for Kai when uh, when he, when he had to. Uh, and we hope to get the same tonight. You coached a team last year in Israel that had some obstacles getting to the championship, had some injuries, players missing, and yet you were able to win the title. What kinds of things did you take from that? As then you go into this and saying, oh, we can do it if we do this. Well, with Maccabi, uh, there's a strong tradition and a strong belief in the winning way of doing things and in uh, the ability to get more as a whole than uh, from a group of individuals. Uh, and I think that we just believed in each other. We defended. We, we really moved the basketball. And, and uh, we played the game hard and right every night. I think that's the formula for success anywhere. Well, we'll see if you guys can do that tonight. Good luck. Thank you.